Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, it's me, Nico Bellic here. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to undervolt your CPU. Uh, for as many cases, uh, reasons why you want to do this. Uh, it could be simple as um, if you want to get a more stable frames or FPS while you're gaming. Or if your temperature is going too high, if it's reaching above, uh, if it's going like mid 95s or 90s. Uh, yeah, so pretty much what you guys want to do is you want to go to Google and you want to type up uh, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. And uh, once you type that up, uh, you want to click on the first one. So once you click on the first one, uh, it should bring you up to this page. Yep, this page right here. And you want to click on this. And you want to click on this. On the left hand side, you see, you'll see you see xtusetup.exe. And you want to just click download accept the terms and license agreement uh, I'm not going to do that because I've already installed it so once you've installed it uh, you should be telling you to restart your computer so basically after you restart your computer you just type up extreme on uh, on this on the start menu you just type up extreme tuning utility and it should pop up and it should be on your taskbar on your icons like this and uh, you just want to open it up and the first menu once you open it up it should be on this menu so once it's on this menu you just want to go on the left side until you see advanced tuning once you see advanced tuning you want to look for uh core voltage offset uh so mine's on 1.1.70 so uh because this is since I uh, since my CPU on my I'm using a laptop to undervolt this so since I'm undervolting the CPU on my laptop which is in i5 8300h you what you guys want to do is you want to start um doing it uh you want to start at 1.150 because um I did a 170 because uh it could uh, vary from different computers uh you know. Some people might even get it to 1.80, 200 even, but for me, I've tried 200 and it's crashed my computer. So for me, I've placed it in 170 and 170 seems to be the most stable voltage that I ever used without, uh, without, yeah, without my computer crashing. So yeah, uh, so once you click on 1.70 or 1.50, sorry. Yeah, I recommend you use 1.50 for the first time for the voltage, yeah. Once you click on 1.50, yeah, you, uh, you guys just want to click on apply, and once it applies, then you just it's already done. So let me just put it back to 170. Yep. So yeah, once it's 1.50, you just press apply, then it's already taken effect. Then once you've done that, you guys want to go to Turbo Boost Power Max, and for this one, you want to put this one to 25, and yeah, then apply again. Then yeah, then that's all. Like pretty much, just uh, uh, if you have um the MSI Afterburner with the River Tuner Statistic Server, yeah, you could uh go on a game and look at the 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 data. Like I mean, the graph and stuff, like what what it says, and look at the temperatures and stuff and see how it goes. Then if you're not, if you're not satisfied with the temperature on the CPU, you can switch it to 1.70 like me and apply again, then see how it goes. And yeah, uh, for me, uh, like I put 170 and so far it's it's the max, like I would say the max temperature that you ever got, it's like 90. Then average, average, mostly average was around like 79, 85, then 80, then around like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Then once you guys do that, you can actually do a stress test. And yeah, I'll actually, I'll do a stress test because I want to guys, I want to show you something. So give me a second. So yeah, um, once you, once it, once it's stressing right now, once you're doing the, once you're running the stress test, um, look down here. You should see a graph. Yeah, I'll put it every minute. Yep, you should see a graph. So as you can see, the that's the temperature of the CPU. What you guys want to do is you never, when you're stress testing, you will you never like, if you see the purple line go above here, like I recommend that you put your voltage down 
And um, yeah, if it's like this, this is perfectly good because if it goes up here, it's gonna throttle stop your um, it's gonna throttle it's like thermal throttle your uh, CPU, so it will just downgrade in performance. So what you guys want to do is just like put start one fifty. Then if you see like near like see the purple line near the orange line, just go by go by ten, so one point sixty, and yeah, like then until you see like a line that's just perfectly that's like the space in between it that should be really really good so yeah that, that's what you guys should get yeah so um yeah pretty much uh if that's if that's all yeah all right so i think that should be it yeah i recommend not for me i've tried 200 and it's crashed my computer so i would recommend not to do that if you really like really just finding a good good sweet spot i recommend 170 or even 175 i haven't tried 175 yet but i recommend 170 then yeah that's it and um yeah that's pretty much it so uh yeah i'll see you guys and i'll see you for next further videos